Oh god. Oh oh maybe he wants to go to school. Michael, I bought bananas. Why are you crying? Okay. So you don't have, you have any excuse for anything, like okay? Right. Telling me you want to On my this, June twenty fourth video, oh, at the sad. bottom of the screen, I did say that I'm gonna put the school work that I did with the kids. Because it's really nothing major, I decided to put it on my Patreon account if you care to look at it, but it's nothing major. So Throughout the summer, I did a lot of reading and the summer package with my little one. So this is one of them that I did with him. Enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Michael, we spoke about what we wanted to do over the summer, right? Yeah. We did say we wanted to do exercise in the park, right? Uh-huh. This is the time. Okay? I told you, let's go. You don't want to go. So don't be complaining that I didn't do anything with you. Do it tomorrow. When I come from the gym, around the same time, you better be ready. We're all going to go and leave the same time as daddy. And then you're not going to be staying at the computer all day. How many hours did we give you? Four. Okay, so you could split two hours in the morning, two hours in the afternoon. And you, stop your crying. I'm going to take a shower, eat, and then we'll do some of the package together, okay? Very good, Michael. You did a good amount. Yeah. But you, you're skipping in between. Uh, I mean, I don't mind you do that, but I just don't want you to leave anything, any, anything empty. Uh -huh, okay. So tomorrow, before you start the from... But how did you know how much pages I did today? I don't know how many you did, but I'm looking how much you already done. Oh. Okay, tomorrow you're going to start from page one, go one by one, see any pages that you left empty, like I'm looking here. Um, the comparisons using multiplication and division. You left that page, yeah. and then you went to the next page. So you need to go, yeah, you left a couple of the word problems. What are the missing two numbers and this pattern? So you need to go to the other pages, and then do some more. Okay. Uh. You need to do, all right, why don't you read the direction? Go ahead. I read. You start from the top, because it tells you what you need to do. I thought this was an I. That's number one. Read the text three times. Color a star after each time you read. Okay, you're gonna read it. You put a st you color it. You read it again. You color it. You read it again. You color it. All right, that's what. So this. I just read it three times. Wait, so I read it. Mm -hmm. And then I colored it. Yeah. So they want you to read it three times. So go ahead. Ben is at the park. His dog Sam is at the park too. Ben rises by and plays with Sam, then goes to the pond, Read then again. he goes to the pond to see the ducks. He thinks they are so cute and funny. Okay, what do you do? Color it. Okay, go ahead. Color my favorite color blue. Uh, today, Mark. Color it again. Okay. Tense. Mm, go ahead. Color the sentences within the text that con contain contain the answer to the following questions. Okay. What does contain mean? Don't know. That has. Okay. Color the sentences within the text that contain the answer that has the answer to the following questions. All right, so they say here. Where is Ben? What? It's Ben is in the park, and his dog is in the park too. Did they talk? Did they ask you where is his uh, dog? No. Okay, they said where is Ben, and what you supposed to do? Color this. So I'm gonna have to color. I'm gonna have to underline the the sentence that says it's the sentence that Ben is somewhere in Okay, the this bed? is the question. Where is Ben? So what you supposed to do? What is the answer to that? Ben is at the park. So what? Underline. That's it. What color? Red. Okay. okay. Right, this is trash. This is trash too because it's cold. I left this. I want to see the, the, the drawing. Can All I right? just color this too? Mark, 
you don't even want to do this let's not do things you they don't ask you okay now who who is with ben who's with his ben? dog sam okay so what color is supposed to color it blue okay that's it who he said who is with ben his dog sam that's it that's the answer go ahead why does ben want to see the ducks why does he want to see the duck answer first before he you he thinks they are so cute and funny okay that's ah. it. well i need to know first just in case you're coloring the wrong thing okay number three what you supposed to do draw a picture that matches the text so what you supposed to do so i'm gonna have to draw the draw a picture that that has what Sam and his dog, where are they? In the park. Okay, so go do that. And then after that, I'm going to be in the shower. Start reading this, okay? I need to, let me write an email and then, you could go draw this and then start reading the other one. Mm -hmm. I need to do an email first. What? Uh, why don't you read the out loud? Again? Yes, again. Read it, please. I read it. I want to hear it so I could check your answer. Michael, please lower that thing. I did. It's going to be time to turn it off soon, okay? Right. A plant starts life as a seed. When the seed goes into a plant, that plant makes new seed. did that uh, with Michael. Another way, seeds. What do you call seeds that travel from the reading? Hitchhikers. Hitchhikers. And how do they travel like that? Because the wind's blowing, I think. Okay. Another way seeds can grow. I think I know too. What? What? Well, there's many ways. So it's like, it's like when the plant is growing, this thing tilts down to the dirt and then grow. Okay. Sometimes birds eat seeds, right? And then when they eat the seeds, it goes into their tummy. And then guess what happened? When they poop, okay? Uh, yeah, the seed is, is in the seeds is in the tummy and it goes in the poop and then you know if it can go it'll go wherever the uh, the bird poop. Ew. <coughs> if it's uh, if it's it, in the dirt, that's right. All right, let's see if you had these correct. What do seeds need to do to become a plant? Stay near other plant, travel away from other plants. Okay, make new seeds. No. B is wrong. What do seeds need to uh, to do to become a plant? Let's look on the thing. Read paragraph two. But did you know that not every seed grows into a plant? To become a plant, a seed has to travel. That is because seeds need room to grow. A seed has to be far enough away from other plants so it gets the sunlight and water it needs. If a seed falls to the ground too close to its parent plant, it may not grow. So what is the answer? What do seeds need to go? To grow? Right here. Seeds need room to grow. Okay. It travel away from other plants. It oh, needs I thought you were talking about this. No. It travel from... Okay. What kind of seed does this passage describe and tell? In, In detail. detail. Okay, that's correct. <sighs> some, plant, uh, some plant seeds are made a certain way so that they will be able to travel. What evidence from the text supports this conclusion? Not, um, not every... Wait. Not. wait, wait, wait. Some plant seeds are made a certain way so that they will be able to travel. What evidence from the dead? Not every seed grow into a plant because the seed needs to travel to become a plant. No. If a seed falls to the ground too close to its parent, it may not grow. Hitchhiker seeds have tiny hooks so that they can stick to animals' fur or bird feathers. The answer is C. Not that. Wait, this? Yes. But it says stick to animal fur. Okay. This is the question. 
some plant seeds are made a certain way this is the key thing made a certain way so that they will be able to travel okay to travel they made a certain way in order to travel what evidence from the text report this conclusion hitchhiker seeds have tiny hooks okay okay this is what made a certain way tiny hooks so that so they can stick to animal fur or bird feathers okay this is the this is the way the way some plants are made a certain way a certain way this is the way tiny hooks so that they could hook onto the clothes okay that's the answer see <clears throat> you have to understand the <clears throat> question this one I shouldn't make you think more um, I shouldn't give you the answer why why might a seed not grow if it falls to the ground too close to its parent plant the parent plant might take up all the sunlight and water that the seed needs to grow the seed might not get pushed into the soil if it falls too close to the parent plant the plant the parent plant might give the seed all its water which is not good for the seed okay a is correct what is the main idea of the article? A seed has to move far away enough from other plants to become a plant because seeds need room to grow. Hitchhiker seeds can travel for miles on animals' body, then fall off and go into new plant. All seeds grow into plants, but only some plants are able to make new seeds. So, okay, a seed, okay, this talk about hitchhiker a seed has to move far away enough for plant to become uh for plants to become plant because seeds need room to go it this is a portion of it but it's not the main idea okay so which one do you think is the main idea and then you have to show me evidence of that which one do you think is the main idea b or c and you think wisely because whatever you choose i'm gonna ask you to show me proof which one? B. Why? Did you think about it? I'm going to give you another chance. Think carefully because you have... Think about it and go look for evidence to support that. Oh, I thought you were talking about this. This one. This one. This one is correct. You already did. Number five. A is wrong. That I can tell you already. A is wrong. Okay? It's part of it, but it's not the whole thing. They talk more about just the uh, hitchhiker uh, thing. All right, so which, uh, B or C? And then look for evidence to, tell, to support your answer. Why you say C? Where's your evidence? Show me evidence. Before you said B, I said show me evidence. I want evidence for C also. Go to the text and find the answer, the evidence that shows that. It's C. Go to the text. The I don't know. I need you to support it. I don't want you to just guessing. Okay? Look, read the passage if you have to. And read your, an your answer. Okay? This is where you're having some issues sometimes, reading comprehension. Okay? I need you to support that. Okay? They want the main idea. Why you say all seeds grow into plants, but only some plants are able to make a uh, new seed so find evidence that tells me that okay so let me go make myself coffee while you're looking do you have that support yeah. uh, well the main know. idea that is because seed need room to go that sentence is the uh and is the your support for this that all seeds go into plant but only some plants are able to make new seeds that is because seeds need room to go. It just tells you that, you know, pretty much every seeds need room to go. Right? Okay, a plant starts, okay, they start here by saying a plant. That could be any plant. Okay? Mm -hmm. Starts life as a seed. When that seed grows into a plant, that plant makes new seeds. All seeds go into plant, but only some. Because in some part here, where did it say here? 
Very okay, do you know that here, right here? Did you know that not every seed grow into plant? See, like there it is. That's there. the main idea. You pick the wrong sentence to uh, to support it. Did you know that not every seeds grow into plant? So they explain how that uh, happened. Okay. So the answer is C. Circle it. Read the sentences from the text. But some plants depend on animals to move their seeds. Those seeds are called hitchhiker seeds. They travel on something else that move. What does the phrase depend on um, most nearly mean in this sentence? Your answer is wrong. I want you to think carefully. Read it again to yourself. Okay? Read it. They want to know. Mark, I don't want you to guess. When it's multiple choices, I don't want you to guess. It seems like you just guessed. This is what they want you to look into within that sentence. Show me that depend on in the sentence. And the phrase that they put, they wrote here. Mark, come on. Where is the word depend on? This is the thing. It said here, they said, read these sentences from the text. This, they took it from the text. Where is the word depend on in that text? Okay, underline it. Read the, uh, read the phrase. Read it. This, this. The, that they took from the paragraph. Where the quote is. But some plants depend on animals to move their seeds. Mm -hmm. Those seeds are called hitch hitchhiker seeds. They travel on something else that moves. Okay, but some plants depend on animals to move their seeds. So they want to know what this word depend on mean. But some plants depend on animals to move their seeds. Can seeds walk yeah. by themselves? No. Okay. Now this. Something has to make it move with the wind. Okay. It's either the wind or the wind could blow them or the animal. Or it's, you know, the wind push it to the animal's fur and then it, it travels, right? So what does the word depend on mean here? It's not move, okay? But some plants move on animal to move their seed. You could, what you need to do when they ask you these kind of uh, questions, you substitute. What is substitute? You replace. You replace the word, okay? Give me this. I'm going to box this in. You're going to remove this. And then you put the, these words into the sentence, see if it makes sense. All right, read it. But some plants move animals to move their seeds. Does that make sense? No. All right, let's read again. But some plants need animals to move their seeds. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, let... Uh, it does make sense. Let's let's see if this one makes sense also. Okay. But some plants hold animals to their to, to move, move their seeds. Can plants hold animals? No. All right. They can't carry it because, because they're little. Okay. So which one makes sense here? B. All right. So use this eraser too. That's all you need to do when they uh, give you sentences like that. You Backs off or underline the word that they're trying for it to, uh, to find the meaning or which makes sense, and then you substitute to replace. Okay, when you have a substitute teacher, okay, substitute is to replace your teacher. Okay, read the next one. Read these sentences from the text. Go ahead. Of course, wind can spread the seeds for many plants, but some plants depend on animals to move their seeds. Okay. What does the word there refer to? All right. Let, let's do the same thing. Give me this. I'm looking. Okay. There's the word there here. Okay. Of course, wind can spread the seeds for many plants. But some plants depend on animals to move their seeds. You see the word there? There. Okay. Underline it nicely. 
So what they want to know? They want to know what this there means. This there means? Uh-huh. Okay. Of course, wind can spread the seeds for many plants, but sometimes depend depend on animals to move to move some uh, uh, plants. You, put put yours. The, this is the one you choose. See if it okay. makes sense. But some plants depend on animals animals to move the, the wind, wind seed. Does that make sense? No. Okay, so erase that. That already does not make sense. All right, do the next one. Now we could start A. But some plants depend on animals to move some plant seeds. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, you don't know? Okay, let's see for B. We already know the wind is no good. C is no but good. But some plants depend on animals to move animals their seeds. You don't use the word there anymore because this is the one they want to, you to know. I mean, to what does it refer to? So we're going to remove that. Let's pretend this is not there anymore. And we're going to substitute each of these into there. Okay? But some plants depend on animal, animals to move... Seeds. Does that make sense? No. So which one do you think it is? A. That's right. All right. Number so A. Letter what? A. But some plants depend on animals to move some plants' seeds. Huh? Mm -hmm. The plants have seeds. Plants. Yeah. Does animals have seeds? No. Okay. All right. Some of them stick on to them first. Okay. Here. What? Are hitchhiker seeds? How are you gonna start answering? Hitchhiker seeds are okay, and then we could go on the text to look for it. So start writing it nicely. How is your first letter gonna be? Uh, uh, okay. All right, so go ahead, write ni nicely and neatly. All right, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to make you practice some of your uh, lettering and your writing. Okay, what? when you're making your H, all right, look, you could put both lines, okay? There, you don't do this. This is how you did it. This, that, that. No, you put the two lines and then that, okay? Go ahead, finish right there. And then you look for the answer and the text. Piker seeds are when, when the wind or an animal. Okay, let's look for it on the text. Hitchhiker seeds. Hitchhiker seeds mm -hmm. can travel for miles on an animal's body. Uh, partially, but let's see. You, you kind of are. Hitchhiker seeds are seeds. Are seeds. That, that can, can travel for miles on an animal's body. That's it. That's the answer right there. I think that's what you told me, but it's the way you were saying it. So hitchhiker, how did you write it? Right hitchhiker seeds yeah, are... I almost spilled my coffee. Hitchhiker seeds are seeds... Seeds... That can travel. Make sure you put the word that in your sentence, okay? Mm -hmm. That... Can travel, travel for, for miles on animals' body. Okay, so hitchhiker seeds or seeds. Go ahead. Oops. Okay. So there's your. You could put it like this. Okay. So you don't have to go back and forth. Write nicely. Hitchhiker seeds or seeds. Mm-hmm. And then you read it for me when you're done. Read it for me. Hitchhiker seeds are seeds that can travel for miles on an animal's body. Very good. And mommy, mm -hmm. I wanted to put a, I was going to put a period and then say that, that is what a hitchhiker seed is. No, you don't need to because you already said hitchhiker seeds are, that's yeah, what are that's seeds that, that, you know, you don't need to go further than that. Always try to make your answers simple. Okay. So just in case if you go a little bit too further on into answering the question and then guess what? It might be wrong. So 
And that better not happen on test. That's right. We want to keep it. Make sure you get to the point and answer it. All right. Done? You're not done. Read what? this. Read this. Nine. Why do seeds need room in their order to grow? Okay. How are you going to answer it? Seeds need room in their order to grow. Okay, you could stop writing that and then we'll look for the answer. All right? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Um, wait. You could say, in order for seeds to grow. Okay. You know what? Just keep it simple. What? No. Huh? I want to do what you said. Uh, you, you, Sometimes you need to switch a little bit. In order for seeds to grow, um, to grow, and then we'll look for it. Always make the vertical line first, Mark. All right. In order for seeds to grow, uh, before before we look in the text, in order for seeds to grow, they have to. Let's see what the text says. You you're all right. That makes sense. But let's see what they say. Maybe there's something that's already there. That uh, why don't you look for it and then show me. Look for the answer and then show me. You're looking for what they need to grow in order for seeds to go. So look for that in the text. What do you see? Go ahead, read it to me. Read it, read it. That is because seeds need room to grow. Okay, the answer is, in order for seeds in to grow, they need they what? Need, they need space to grow. Oh, you just, yeah, they need room to grow. That's it. Okay. Let's see. We know the word is womb, womb to grow. So, in order for seeds to grow, they need room. That's it. Very good. Yeah. Can read these sentences from the text. Mm -hmm. Hey, tiger seeds can travel for miles on an animal's body. Then they fall uh, off or are removed. Mm -hmm. If they fall in a place that is good for growing, seeds will grow into plants too. Mm -hmm. What would a place that is good for a hitchhiker seed to grow, grow, to, to grow be like? Okay, let me read for it. What would, what would a place that is good for hitchhiker seeds to grow be like? Use evidence from the text to support your answer. Now, they're asking you your personal opinion, but you need evidence from the text to support it. Mm -hmm. All right? So, okay. What would a place that is good for hitchhiker seeds to go be like? A place, a good place mm -hmm. for a hitchhiker seed to grow in. Will be like. Will be okay, like. that's it. Start that. You don't put the code because they're asking you for your opinion. What is your opinion? Read what a you were told. A place mm -hmm. for a hitchhiker seed to grow could be like. How could it be like? What do uh, um, seeds need to grow? Water, air, room, nutrients. Huh? But what did the text say? We, they want things from the text, okay? So, what would a place. What did the read your uh, the answer before that? In order for seeds to grow, they need room. Okay, so what will a uh, hitchhiker seeds uh, um, could be like? In order for it to grow. A place for hitchhiker seeds to, to grow could be like water. Could be like water. What's a place do you think a, a seed could grow? Pick a place. What place? What place that has in a lot dirt? of room? Huh? In the dirt? Yeah, Michael, Mark, yes, they need dirt. But what is a place? Dirt is not a place. It's a thing. A place. Tell me a place that, that you usually go that has room for plants to go. Huh? Don't overthink it too much. What place do you usually go sometimes that, I mean, not you. What place do you sometimes go that a, a plant, a hitchhiker plant can grow? Hmm? A plate. Somewhere near my old school? Okay. Right, let me. Because there's, because I see. Okay. Plant. You were saying before, uh, a plant needs nutrient, it needs dirt, right? Mm -hmm. 
does the place have dirt? Some. Okay, so it may not fall uh, uh, in the area that uh, it will go. So what place we sometimes go that has room for a, pla uh, a plant to go? A garden. What place in the, in the area, in the neighborhood that you could go that a plant could go? Let's say a bird, uh, we ha there's a bird that has a hitchhiker seed on its fur, and then all of a sudden it drops it while it's flying. The botanical garden? Okay, you could say that. All right, fine. Why you say a botanical garden? Because you have to use evidence. Because it's a big place where, where plants could grow. All right, so go ahead. So you have to phrase it. A place, read that. A place for a hitchhiker seed to grow could be like the botanical garden. Okay, you could write that. Like a botanical garden. Like a? Uh-huh, a botanical garden. But if it's A, then, then it would be... It could be one botanical garden, okay? That's what I said, A. It would be like A but. Uh, Botanical garden. Botanical garden is a place, right? Because mm -hmm. they're asking for a place. That's for botanical. B O. B O. Make the sound. Bota, ta. T A. Uh huh. Nico. Mhm. Mm e A. I. I. C A L. Oh wait, botanical. Uh, yeah. Botanical garden. G uh huh. A R D E N. Garden. Period. Now find the evidence that will support that. How will you say it? How will you say? It? The botanical garden is a large place where where plants can grow. Okay, you could say that. Okay. Okay, then how will you introduce your evidence? How are you going to start that sentence? So I need to make more lines for you. Finish that, then I'll make lines for you. Period. Okay, let me make lines. Because, mm? because look, after I put the period, I can say, I know because the botanical garden is a large area where mm -hmm. plants can grow. You already said something about that, but you need evidence from the text. You have to pick something from the text. Something like that, yes. So I put that? Mm hmm I know because the text said, and then you find something that says it needs a place to go. And Why don't you read it? Mm hmm Go ahead. Read everything. A place for a hitchhiker seed to... Read a little bit louder. A place for a hitchhiker seed to grow could be like a botanical garden. Mm-hmm. The botanical garden is a large place where plants could grow. I know because the text said seeds need room to grow. Okay. Uh, and you, mommy, mm -hmm. large is describing the place of a large area mm -hmm. of, of a place. Yes. All right. So what did you do here? You did this while I was taking a shower? No, I did that last time. Okay, did I check that? Which one did you do while I was taking a shower? Oh, no. uh, so, all right, let's... I need help with this. Okay, find... Uh, Am I done with this? Yeah, that's it. That's it, that's it. It's done. You put the period, you put the end quote, so you're I done. I thought we were going to do this tells me. No, it's okay. Even though could, all right, so here, there's, this is like a little puzzle kind of thing. Find the letters on the grid to make words. See here, one, one this way, and two up. Okay, you're going to go one this way to the right, and then you're going to go two up. This is, what is it, one, two, what is that? Let's see, all right, there it is. You start here, one here. Mm -hmm. it, it, this is a direction you have to find the letter. So you go this way. That's one this way and two up. When you go two up, what do you, what do you find? What letter is that? B. Okay, so put B. That's the letter. Okay, next. And that's the same thing. Do this. 
two, two this way and three up. Go ahead. So we start from here. One, two. Mm -hmm. And then three, three up. up. One, two, three. Got what? I or L? Okay, go ahead. Is it L or I? I think that's an I. Oh, or L. I don't know. Just put the I. The way you see it here. They didn't do that. Just put a line. Maybe it's an I. I'll see later what it is. I think it's a... Next. Go ahead. One, two, three, and four. Mm-hmm. Five up. One, two, three, four, and five. We got R. Okay. I always tell you, when you're making the, a line, start up going down, okay? So finish that and I'll look. So what word is that? Reading it from up going down. Bird. Bird. So that was the word. So this is the I. Next. Do the rest and then I'll look. Done. Alright. So you don't want to do it, but it's a really, really quick and fun thing to do. Alright. They are correct. Here, after this, you could take a break. Stop uh, read that. Tell whether the dotted line on each shade represents the... Represents a line of, of symmetry. Symmetry, right? Yes or no? Uh, Don't. You know what symmetry means? When let's say you cut it in half, both sides is the same. It's symmetrical. It the same. So it's yes. You have to look. So you have to tell whether the dotted line on each shape. Okay, there's A, B, C, D. Okay, each of those shapes here. Whether each one of them. Shape represent a line of symmetry. Does this one represent a line of symmetry? Yes. Okay, so put yes, that's correct. Put yes here? Uh, underneath it, you could just put underneath it. Yes, what about the next one? Is it a line? Yes. Okay. Next? Yes, okay. because they're both the same. No. Okay. Because this one's a triangle and this is a rectangle, so okay. how could it be the same? Okay, go ahead. Now here they say draw a line symmetry on each shape. Okay. Nope. When you put this line here, is the same is it the same here as that? Yes. Alright, so they need to yes, they need to be the same. Alright. Why don't you extend it a little bit? So no, you it's fine. Put dotted line. Do the next one dotted, that's all. Go ahead, next. Okay, good, next. It looks like a fire wheel thing. Go ahead. How will you make it symmetrical? Don't know. Look carefully. Where will you put the dotted line? Will you put it like this? No. Why not? Because if I put it like this, there's two lines here and okay. there's one like a there. If you put it like this, would it be the same? Don't know. If you were, I don't want to write on it, but if you were to put it, the dotted line like this, would it be the same? You could, huh? On both sides? No. So, if it's not not like this, not like that, what about like this now? No, because they're both the same when you put it like What that. about this? Yes. Okay. So, it will have to be right in the center. No. Uh, Sometimes you have to, you know, position things to, so you could visualize it. Next one. Okay, there's a um, ruler. See, I was giving you the ruler, but ah, uh. ah. Right, next, we done what they asked you to do here. Draw the second half of each symmetry shape. All right. So what do you have to do before you start? So me. I have what I have to do is on. For an example, on this one, I have to draw the other one like that. It has to be exactly the same way as that one. Mm -hmm. Okay? Go ahead. 
Let's see, how did you do? Alright. Okay. I'm done now. Uh, well, you could take a break. You didn't really finish read, but you could read later, okay? No, I hate reading. Well, you have no choice but to do it, okay? So put this on top of the thing. All right. In the morning, please, I don't want to fight with you, okay? Just do them. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Good job. Love you.